infrared and thermal imaging cameras. Right in this area. Later in the 19th century, NTC was made into a whaling village. The second settlement of San Diego, named La Playa, was a ghost town in 1858 when the Packard brothers got there. Soon, the Packards realized that San Diego Bay was a breeding ground for gray whales. Because whaling was a highly profitable industry, the brothers taught the locals how to catch and kill whales, which became the village's main source of revenue until 1874. In 1916, the naval base on NTC was built on what was former wetlands by filling the marsh with sand. Building 51, that currently houses High Tech High International, was built in the 1950s and was used as a metal foundry until 1993 when it was decommissioned. NTC was closed in 1996, and the Gary and Jerry Ann Jacobs High Tech High was one of the first redeveloped buildings in 2000. However, is it possible that many murders and deaths occurred here that were covered up by the military? Jean Henson went to boot camp and electrical school on the military base in 1961 and 62. Suffer. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, boot camp was just to weed out people that were incompatible and to kind of get you ready to take orders. Uh, there, was, there, was, uh, there was quite a few people that died in the area. Uh, the only ones I'm familiar with are, are males. Um, in Nimitz, uh, we had people that did commit suicide, or at least they looked like they were successful. I don't know if they, they rushed them to the hospital. I never saw them again. And basically, like I say, uh, they would have uh, fiancés, girlfriends, and they couldn't wait more than two months or whatever, and they'd write them Dear John's. And being you couldn't leave, you were trapped here. You couldn't, the, the, the idea you would rush home and try to fix it, you could. And so there were guys that cut their wrist or they jumped out the second story windows, the, the patios. Gene Henson was standing guard at a clothesline when he witnessed an attempt. Yeah, I actually watched a person dive out of the second story into a clothesline. I was on guard one night in, in Nimitz when a guy jumped out the second story patio into the clothesline. And we used to call the master at arms or whatever, and they showed up, took him away. I have no idea if he made it or not. He hit awfully hard. In addition, when Jill Chiadini, our teacher, emailed a correspondent from the NTC Historical Society, she received a lengthy email expressing interest in this project and even including the following information. On occasion, a recruit or a student would mention something about paranormal activity but there was never anything more than hearsay. In the 500 plus acres at Liberty Station NTC, there is one person buried there, but no one has ever identified that person as being related to paranormal activity. However, when Jill excitedly replied to the email, asking him to give more specifics about the death or contacts for recruits who witnessed paranormal activity, she never received a response. Is the military trying to cover up some information? Who knows? Maybe we will never know, but we do know that the military base and the whaling village were tough places to live, and there were many deaths and suspicious events that may have caused spirits to become trapped. With such a rich historical yet mysterious background, it's no wonder that paranormal activity is suspected at NTC.